Yo, yo, he brought them back. No, he brought them back. He brought them back. Is that that? I don't. Wh how? What? That's not the real. That's not the real. But what are they doing in this chapter of Chainsaw Man? Fujimoto did something that I did not think that any of us thought would happen. Well, some of us thought someone was going to come back, and we're going to get into that in a bit. But in the very beginning of the chapter, we left off on chapter 181, where you were just kissing Denji, and then you can see Denji just over here, just like, oh, why, like, why did he do that? Like, he already has, like, regret about, um, you can tell he's a little traumatized from, like, all the stuff that's happened to him in the past. Maybe he got memories of Makima and Rize, for example. Yuro does have a crush on Denji because we can confirm it in this panel right here that I'm going to show on screen right now. She looks very curious. I don't know if she's doing anything, but then she also says this in the bottom in the bottom panel. She's just like, oh, I kissed you because you're cute when you cry. And the way she looks off and like to the side is like, she can tell that she does like Denji. So I was wrong about the whole Pachita, maybe her liking Pachita because he's strong and all that. No, she actually likes Denji and we can say in the earlier chapter, I forgot what chapter it was, I'm gonna put it on screen later on. But she says that she's getting her memories mixed up, her memories and emotions and feelings with Asa because they share the same body, so anything that Asa's feeling, maybe it's also getting attractive, but then Euro is also feeling the same thing as well because they are sharing the same body. Who knows if it's like a both of them combining or if it's just a Euro situation, but I feel like it's a Euro because just look at the way she's looking at, like looking away from that. She's like, oh yeah, like, like she's a little embarrassed to say or like say in front of like she can't look him in the eyes because she's embarrassed of saying that. And she she does it she does it once again i think this panel is really i think this panel is probably like the best panel on on here just because you can see all the detail you can see like the outline of denji and euro like it's a little bit darker and i really like that style because when we go back to my attack on titan days i used to like the wit studio style like the dark outlines on the outside and then right here you can see and then you can see the trees in the background off in the distance and you can see a lake i don't know i just like being like shading looks perfect and everything i like this panel a lot because like it's huge contrast so, like you see them at the bottom very highly lighted dark and then you see everything in the back white so i appreciate that panel and you can see in the later panel that denji's talking about the same thing that he had to deal with the other time he said he wants to chop off his penis because he says that he only thinks with it and he can't think of anything else and all the mistakes he's done is just because he's been thinking about something else and he's talking about it right here that he can reflect on his mistakes because of something like that and you can see that they're sharing trauma together right here and later in the chapter where they're saying oh i'm hopeless but then he's like oh yeah Yuro also says that she's hopeless could be also talking but then in the later panel we see the marks still on her so it's Yuro but then Yuro says I lost people who were like family to me I got over it, and you can get over it too I don't know if she is gaslighting denji don't know if she's gaslighting denji because euro is very weird like we can see it from the earlier chapters that she like it's pretty easy that she's gaslighting people but then here for example just the way fujimoto made her look away as if she was embarrassed to tell denji that she likes them and then right here she gets all excited like oh yeah i got over it and you can too but the same thing is like i don't know just something just doesn't feel right with me i don't know if she's gaslighting him because if it was also then you gets to see the marks go away but then it's Euro, so I don't know who's like who's in control right now, or maybe she's accessing like Asa's memories to to gaslight him in a way. I guess I'm not sure. I don't know. Right here in the next panel, she says BFF, so I don't know because then she punches herself and then it switches to Asa, and you can see Denji's like, what the hell? Like, what's up? What's up with this chick? And like I said, from him, from my last video, from his perspective it looks like she might have this like bipolar or something because she he doesn't know see the next panel him i don't even think he knows about euro he just sees asa because they are in the same body she probably he probably might think that she's bipolar or something because one one time she's like hitting him and like saying all these things about him and the next thing she's like making out with him and all that right and you can see that Denji doesn't really care anymore like you can just look at her well euro said to asa if she tells anyone about who Euro is, she's gonna kill her. And then she's just looking at her like, what the hell? Like, he, he even calls it out. He's like, why do you, did you kiss me? Like, he just doesn't like this whole thing. And he sees her punch herself. He's like, what the hell? Like, if, imagine if you were seeing a girl do that in real life. You're like, what the hell? Like, something, something's wrong with this chick, right? And then right here it says, and then we go back to Asa where she's saying that my mom and I were running from a devil. So I don't know if she, Euro was accessing, accessing Asa's memories. Because she did say she did lose people, but then also she's a devil, so maybe she had like devil friends in hell or something. But I feel like it's most likely the she's tapping into Asa's memories. I know this is completely unrelated, but later on she says that 
if Chi had been faster and if Chi hadn't tripped at that moment, it kind of gives a callback to when we first meet also for the very first time where she trips over the chicken and then she ends up killing it. It's unrelated, but it's like a like a little nod that I had when um connection that I had when I was reading the chapter. I'm like, oh yeah, the first time we met her, she she killed the chicken. And if that never happened, then she wouldn't have met your or any of this that she's been through already would have never happened. And then she she starts admiring Denji saying that, oh, you chainsaw man taught me something. You, you taught me that I still have something to live for. And I'm looking so much forward to that I'm willing to eat a crap burger. And that could be the hamburger that they were talking like. There might have been no connection to that, but that might be the hamburger that they were trying to eat or what Denji was trying to eat. And you can see Denji just throw up. At first, I thought he was just like going to laugh like like he found it funny or something but then eventually like when you see him just like throw it up throw something up i don't know exactly what it is it could be the blood devil i doubt it just because it has horns but i doubt that it's gonna be whatever this is kind of reminds me of jujutsu kaisen where um what the guy i don't know his i forgot his name but he's able to just like uh the figure transformation dude he just like spits stuff out of his mouth and then just like messes with the souls and stuff kind of reminds me of that and then you get to see that they're talking about this is snow and then you get to see a boat i don't know what the whole point of the boat is because this could be one of aki's memories but then at the same time what does the angel devil have to do with aki and power so i don't know what's up with the boat but the fact that a lot of people were begging for power to come back and then fiji moto actually did bring her back at the same time i don't know if we can trust this just because um it is the aging devil's world and that the guy mentioned before that you can go crazy so what if this is just a memory of you like oh what if this happened what if it's making you relive those memories of like oh um what if this could have happened what if i did what if i did this to prevent this just keep in mind when you age you're gonna look back at your life eventually and if the aging devil is what the aging devil is like what we all know what if the aging devil is making denji remember his past so he can reflect on it and be like oh yeah this is what happened so then eventually like let's say he's in there for like 100 years for example right he's in there for 100 years it's like, okay now you get to get the recap of your life of what could have happened and it's gonna make him go crazy because then he's gonna reflect like damn what if i did do something what if i did do this and then he starts going crazy because he's like damn like what if this is going to become a reoccurring dream? This could be an enemy or an ambush of someone's thing of the aging devil's powers. Because we don't know too much about it. So it can either go one of those two ways. Or it can actually be like a... I highly doubt it. But what if it's actually like an Aki power moment where they're like, Oh, Denji, like, oh, this is what happened. Oh, like, what if they f help him find a way to get out of there? But at the same time, like that guy has been there for such a long time. In the earlier chapter, maybe he has the same thing. So if all of a sudden the Aki and Power pop up, I don't think they're going to give them advice on how or like even give them a connection to pop out of the Aging Devil's dream. Yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this chapter and what's going to happen with Aki and Power and why they're there. Let me know if you agree with either one of my three um, ways that this can go for the next chapter. And this ch this chapter was actually a long chapter, which I'm, I, I liked. It was 19 pages long. It's not... Like it's not a, it wasn't a 30 second read compared to the other chapters that we had in the previous weeks if you guys are fans of chainsaw man i'm going to be doing reviews of the chapters every time they come out and i've been doing for the past couple like four chapters at this point already i'm going to be doing the reset trailer whenever that decides to drop i'm going to be giving a review whenever it decides to drop whenever season two comes out as well uh, we all know that the reset movie has to drop before season two but i'm going to be covering that as well and yeah if you guys want to talk to other chainsaw man fans you guys can talk down in the comments because i really like talking to you guys even if you guys leave one comment i still like popping you guys on screen so you guys know that i appreciate you guys and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next week's chapter i've been alex and take care